Okay, first we gotta insert our MIDI cable into our ASR 10. Out. That's the output going directly into our module. And the other end goes into the in on our module, which is today we're using our TR rack right there. Okay, we've taken a sample right now and we're going to sort of like make a little track up with the sample. The sample's in the ASR 10 and now we're going to edit that sample and get the very beginning of the sample. And the first thing we have to do is we're going to like play the sample and we've already picked the root key to play it from. Uh, which is right there as you can see. Which is our C60. Now, As you can see right now, I'm trying to get the beginning of the sample. We're going to get a sample start. But the most important thing to do here is to find the beginning of your sample. See, we're changing the actual sample start. And we're using that, see this finger right there? Exactly. While hitting the pad. That's good. Okay, that sounds like it's right on right there, right? Yes. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're trying to loop it, right? Yes. Okay, so um, let's loop the beat. Move my camera over here. Now, first, you got to press the command button, right, Orlando? Yes. And then we're going to see, as you can see here, it says create new sequence. See that? Okay. Next, we want to press which button? Yes. We, which button we press? We press command button first, and we press yes. Yes. We didn't. Pre we don't press sequence song. It depends on where the keyboard was last stopped at. Okay. So now we're going to go to um, new sequence. Okay. Let's create a new sequence. What do we do next? We we'll hit yes again. Yes. And now this is our time signature. Now, most of the time, we're always using 4-4. Four, four. Zoom in as you can see that. We're doing 4-4 four, four there. See that? Great. Now, next, we're going to press yes again, right? Yes. Now, here, by pressing yes, we're saying yes to the first 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Now, we're saying yes to the next part of 4-4. Four, four. We hit yes again. And now, the command's complete. Now, the first part is four beats per measure, and the next part is four quarter notes. That's why it asks you to make sure whether you want to have four beats per measure, and do you want to have it quantized of quarter notes. Now, we create new sequence, and it says, yes, new se sequence created. Now, what do we do next? We'll, we'll move the cursor camera this. back over. We're going to hit edit first. Yes. Edit. And now, we've got edit. And we're going to press what next? Sequence. Sequence. And now we have this thing, as you can see right now. Now it says, Tempo 99, loop on. Now make sure loop is on and your tempo's at 99. The reason why we have loop on is to make sure that when we do get the beat to the right tempo and we put it into the sequence, the beat will loop. Am I correct? Yes. And that sequence will loop around that whatever tempo we decide to loop it at. Next, I think we're going to try and tap repeat this in, right? Yes. Let me move the camera back get a really good view of this so guys can understand how this actually works. 